Hello and welcome back to Coral Kiwi Arts. Now it's been a while. I've been away. If you haven't noticed, I have been away. And since I've been away, I've noticed we've got a few more followers on YouTube. This is great. This is really good. Now, I've been doing a lot of painting for our exhibition and we've been away. So that's why I haven't been on our channel. But I'd like to say thank you for all those people who've left comments and uh, who have joined. Now, uh, today I have a little request by a little lady friend who's a friend of ours and she wanted me to do a drawing of a female. And I was thinking, what should I do? What should I do that's going to make it exciting? I thought, I know. We have four New Zealand female pilots who are famous, but I'm going to draw the first one that was recorded in history. Her name is Jan Gardner Batten, or referred as Jan Jane Batten, or was it the other way around? Jane Gardner Batten and Jan Batten, that's it. And uh, she went to Great Britain. Let's take it back a few steps, okay? I'm going too fast here. She was born in Rotorua, New Zealand. And she went to England to learn to fly, and she tried to fly to Australia, but she made two unsuccessful attempts flying solo to Australia. But in 1936 or 37, she made her first solo flight to New Zealand, which took 15 days and beat the world record, not just for flying it under a certain amount of time, but being a solo pilot as well, but being a female pilot. So she did three world records there. And what was remarkable about her flight is she flew back again. So she made another world record by doing that. But in 1944, the record was broken. It doesn't matter. She was the first. But she made other flights to um, Great Britain, to Brazil. And she did her first flight to New Zealand and a gypsy moth biplane. Now, I love biplanes. I used to draw lots of them when I was a child. So today I'm going to be doing a drawing of a biplane from my imagination with uh, Jan Batten flying the plane. So here we go. Thank you for being here. So here we go. Um, I'm going to do the plane as it's flying towards us, then flying away, so that way you can see her face. So, I'm just going to draw an outline of the plane. I hope you can see this, because I'm drawing it in pencil. I prefer pencil because it gives me uh, flow. And I can rub it out if I need to, but I don't think I, I'm going to worry about that. So I'm going to draw probably the, the engine part first. Now, yeah, yeah, sorry about being uh, away. They always say it's better to be late than never, but I'm here. So, this could be the engine part, and then we'll do the propeller. So it's just a basic sort of drawing. Now some planes have two propellers, some have four. This one has two, but I'm gonna make it look like it's turning. And if we do the shape like that, and uh, I'll do her in here, the pilot. If I do that now, then um, that way can draw around her if necessary. A little nose and a hat. I'll make it bigger in the plane so she stands out. And, 
the wings. That's to the wings. Imagine flying that distance, 15 days in a, in a, in a plane, made out of wood. Crazy. When I'm painting, I'm sitting there for hours painting or standing. It's, it's, uh, it takes a lot out of you, but you, you can't just get out of your seat and just go for a walk. If you're flying, you're up there for hours. I guess she had to work out her flight plan so that she's going to be landing on certain places so she could refuel her aeroplane. Her flight path. Now, if I'm going to draw um, this wing, I have to draw it so it, it goes from big to small because there's that perspective of something that's going further away. And here, and make it so it's parallel here like that and then we'll have these crisscross things like this and one on the plane like that I'll do another one there like that another one here and another one here I've seen old movies where people climb on the wings and they do all these tricks The most one of the most safest planes ever made is a biplane. Not during the war, of course. <laughs> I've got my window open, so you, fortunately you're hearing all the noises from outside. Someone's all obviously orders some food the service here is unbelievable you can order anything and they'll deliver it to your door so it's all coming together And I'll come through here like this. This is really different. Normally I paint um, landscapes or imagination drawings. But our little young friend wanted us to draw a female. So here we go. I'll do the, um, the cylinders or the... The cooling pipes, whatever you call them, along here, and sometimes they they got other pipes through here. And this part is normally bigger. It's a big engine, and the fuel's inside the wings. And this part here is obviously bigger as well. Making it darker so you can see it. And uh, I'll do a circle inside the circle. I'll do a ring around there. Almost looks like the top of a pepper grinder. <laughs> I'll do these ones lighter. And 
Let's do the wings now. The front part here is always wider. So if I draw it here, it goes something like this. It goes wide, and then it goes thin. So when the air hits it, it goes across and flows this way. I'm not going to use a rubber or anything like that. It's going to run with it. If I do this with my pencil, it will give you a sense of these things turning as well. And I'll do the swing here as well. Wide and small and wide. Oh, there's a lot of people getting food today. It's a busy place. I could use a ruler if I wanted to to make the swing look nice and straight. Come down here, it's from upstairs, that noise. <laughs> Poles. And then they've got cables that run either side here like this. do another one over here it's not perfect I could do a perfect picture if I wanted to but it's not a competition it's about having fun and going with the flow if I wanted to, I could spend hours on this picture and rub it out and fix it and just gives you a general idea. I might make these darker. I've got the um, window open because it's so hot today. It's been raining and so it's very muggy and we can't open the windows we'll get the mosquitoes inside the house so we've got these fly screens and that prevents a lot of the fr fresh air or the wind from blowing into the house and This one here, I'm going to just do this one here again. Fix this up here. Just making it a bit tidier. Yeah.
all made out of wood and pot rivets, screws and aluminium, I'm not sure, probably uh, wood. edge on there so you know that's an edge of the wing like so and I'll do the same here that's better it's coming along and uh, let's fix this up make it a little longer it's too short and give this a towing, or what do you call that? A rudder at the back, and I'll put a wheel here. And I'll do some. bits here to represent um, that it's round now the pop rivets and this part here is I think was made out of leather not sure Let's draw her a little better, eh? Goggles. Because uh, these planes are flying pretty fast. Last thing you want is something to fly into your eyes. They didn't have helmets in those days. It'd be very cold too, being up there, you're flying higher than Mount Everest, it's, hot. it's very cold up there, probably got heating pads or heating heated seat, I'll give her a mouth, ah see she's happy, she likes flying. And she'll probably wear a, a sheep, sheep uh, leather um, jacket. Keep her warm. And they don't have steering wheels, they have rudders and they have pedals inside. Makes them turn left to right or up and down. I'll give her a little helmet and then normally go over the ears, I guess. Keep her ears warm. Do these parts here. These parts here connect to the plane. I have to turn my picture slightly so I get the right angle.
Now, something missing. Wheels. Yes. So I'll put a wheel here. Do another one here. Another wheel here. Here we go, and I'll, I can put some clouds in there as well. Looks like we've got some guests that have turned up, but I'll put some clouds in here. Some clouds, and I'll put another cloud down here. And another cloud over here. There we go. That's a quick picture. And it will give you a general idea what a biplane or a gypsy moth biplane looks like. It's similar. Jane Gardner Batten or Jan Batten. I would like to say thank you so much for our little lady friend for giving me the opportunity to draw something for her and thank you so much and uh, one more look yeah history New Zealand history see you next time bye now